Welcome once again. Right now we're in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 through 27. Spiritual discipline. Don't you know that those who run in a race all run, but one receives the prize? Run like that, that you may win. Every man who strives in the games exercises self-control in all things. Now they do it to receive a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. I therefore run like that, not aimlessly. I fight like that, not beating the air, but I beat my body and bring it into submission, lest by any means, after I have preached to others, I myself should be rejected. What a powerful word of discipline and warning. Run as you would run in a race. And there are so many people out there that claim to be Christians, claim to be people who believe the scriptures, and they don't run as they're running a race. They piddle paddle around, they tiptoe and play around, and they're not very serious about the Lord. I'm telling you, when your time here on earth is finished, finished, what will matter. What will matter? Paul made a very good point here. He said that you see these people who run in a race, who strive to get to first place, and they do so to get a corruptible crown, a crown that one day will be maybe rusted, maybe corroded, maybe thrown out, maybe lost. But we have a crown that's incorruptible. How much more should we be running? How much more should we be diligent? How much more should we be tenacious? And Paul says, I run like that. I fight, but I don't fight nothing. I beat my own body into submission so that on that day, I will have reward. Why would Paul say he beats his body? Because it takes self discipline. A lot of times you have to say no to what you want. A lot of times you have to say no to good feelings. A lot of times you have to run hard and a lot of times you have to go through hardship. But in all things, seek the face of God. Seek God. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him and he will surprise you and show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.